All right, this is going to be a very simple, well, not a very simple, but somewhat simple, uh, Christmas tree. So what you're going to do is what I start out with is I start out with these. What I do is um, basically a six-petal flower. You can do uh, two, if you take two of these and make four petals, you can even make the tree a little bit bigger, but we're going to kind of keep it simple for right now. So basically blow up a balloon all the way, let some of the air out so you get a, a little nipple kind of thing on the end here, and then tie the two ends together. Take another one, do almost the same thing. Don't blow it all the way up, but almost. But you see how I have a little extra piece here. So actually, this circle is smaller than that circle. So this is going to be the bottom of the tree. This is going to be the next tier. And then I have another balloon that I'm going to make some more bubbles with to make the very, very top, basically about the top three tiers of the tree. Because we're going to do larger and then smaller and smaller and smaller. This is going to be the base. This is going to be the trunk, so that will actually go into the base to hold the tree up. And then that's a six-inch geoblossom. And then if you take another six-inch geoblossom, just put some air in it, but don't actually expand the balloon, that's going to be the star on top. So what we're going to do, we're going to start out basically at the bottom with the first big ring. You're going to make a, a six-petal flower. So just like in, I think it was my first, first ever video I posted. Um, so get, take that, give that a pinch, a twist, turn it around. So you've actually split those into two equal portions. Now you're going to want to kind of eye it up into thirds. Take one third and then the other third. So you got six of them total. Flop that over, flop that over. Hold the ends where the, all the ends come together. Squeeze it. And give that a twist. So basically a six petal flower. So we got that part. Now you're going to take the same one, the little bit smaller ring. You're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to make another six petal flower. So fold that. Of course, we have the after because it's a little bit smaller. You're going to try to make three equal portions. Fold that over, fold that over. Squeeze that. Together. It's not an easy twist. And one of the keys is if you get a lot of pops, you need to let out some more air. That's the main thing. So we got another six petal flower and then another six petal flower. So obviously that one's a little bit larger. So when we stack the tree, it's going to be stacked up like such. All right, now for the, the next part, what I do is I take the balloon here. Now, there's not a lot of air in it, so it's basically four fingers, maybe another two to three on top of that. Take this one, give that a pinch, take off a little, little tiny bubble, fold twist, another fold twist, and another fold twist. So we got our, our three bubbles. So what that's going to do is that actually is going to be our next layer for our tree. So that'll go there, and then this will sit on top of that. And then you're going to make another one. So make another teeny tiny bubble there. Make another full twist. Try to make these full twists smaller than the first one. And then another one. You can usually get about three more out of that. So now i got another set. And now the last one I try to do is I just try to make a small bubble followed by another small bubble, ear twist that one, and then another ear twist. So my last two are literally two ear twists. Break this piece off. Make it around so it doesn't come off. So now we've got basically a little pyramid kind of shape. So we got our, our last three tiers, just like that. So they're basically all full twists. Three full twists, a little bit larger, a little bit smaller, and then two followed by two ear twists. Then what we can do is take our trunk. So I literally blew up the balloon that much. I tied it here. Of course, I tied it at the end, and then I tied it here, and then I let out the air. Because you don't want... I basically made a little hole here to let the air out, so so we don't get some, them all bunched up in there. Take your first piece. Take your trunk. Give that a pull. Push that inside. Wrap that around a few times. Take your another set, wrap that around. Now you can even come all the way back down to the bottom and then continue back up to the top as well. Now we got that one. Now you take this one. Now this one you should have a piece on there anyway. And you can just wrap that around on the end. And you can cut off. Christmas tree. You just got to make sure you get all the, the fluff 
flower petals around here. Make sure you get those all in line. You can spin it around until you get it to, you know, hold a nice shape. Mold it a little bit. So there's a tree. Take your trunk, twist off a small little bubble, put your ear twist, put that bubble right through the ear twist. Just give it a good squeeze. It'll pop right into place. So you got a nice foundation for that. And then the star. And you can put that right on top. Now you can add little five inch round bubbles or if you have like a little a lot of scraps from two sixties, just blow up a little ball. You can actually